let's make a bass line with the XPO. I'd like to form it around this drum brake. I patched the drum brake through this channel of Modumix and on to the left channel of Mimeophone, and from there to the top channel on X-Pan. Drums, nice and dry for now. First thing we'll do is let the brake loop and use the end of splice gate to clock the tempi. I've already set channel one for a time 16, so using it to clock the X channel of Renee, and then using XCV for the volt per octave on the XPO, we'll get a full playthrough of this 16 step sequence with each loop of the break. XPO's wave folded outputs patch through the QPOS, and then the QPOS low pass outputs to the aux in on the X pan to mix it with the drum brake. And ah, why use a longer cable when you can use a shorter one? We can, of course, modulate the timbre with the modulate and center parameters on the XPO as well as various controls on the QPOS. Let's use the X gates to uh, trigger maths channel and we'll molt out the unity output. We'll patch it to XPO modulate. For a rhythmic wave folding effect. Patch it to QPOS radiate as well. Now the left modulate and radiate inputs are both normaled over to the right CV inputs, and of course each radiate is two of the four filter peaks of QPOS. So here we get six different modulations from one source. Another thing I'd like to use is the envelope follower out of the morphogene. Let's use it on the input VCA on QBOS. This adds the specific rhythm of the drum break to the bass line. Okay, let's uh, bring the spectrophone in a little as well. Uh, side B, I've got in Sam. Let's take the other output from the morphogene to its input. And we'll use Renee's Y channel to sequence it. I'm gonna run the odd and even outputs through the right side of Mimeophone. And then on to the other XPAN channel.
In default, the two sides of the mimeophone will stay separate as far as what's in the delay line. Although when Halo is turned up, we'll hear a little of the two sides mixing together slightly. I tuned these two VCOs together ahead of time so that the two sequences would be in tune. The Spectrophone also has its own envelope follower on the sub-CV output. Let's use that to modulate partials for some combined amplitude and timbre control. Okay, let's add a little more modulation. We'll use a uh, random voltage to modulate XPO's center parameter. And also the panning of this spectrophone voice. We can always use the right bandpass output on QPOS to the attenuated filter frequency to put that a little growl where we want it. I've also made a few copies of this state, but with only the quantized key or page changed for key mode. Do you have any favorite ways to use the XPO for bass lines? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and happy patching.